Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation with i. We have x to the power i equals e to the power negative pi over 2. And we're going to be solving for x values. Now, if i is imaginary, e is irrational, and pi is irrational. So we kind of put it all together and see if you can guess x at this point, but don't say it. All right, let's see how we can solve this problem. So since i is imaginary, not real, we're going to go ahead and use an identity or a formula, I should say. Whenever you have two complex numbers, z and w, suppose z and w are the elements of the set of complex numbers, which we can show with a little special c here. And then we can safely say that z to the w is defined as an exponential, which is e to the power w ln z. Now, how is ln z defined? We'll talk about that as well. Suppose z can be written as r e to the i theta, then ln z can basically be defined as ln r plus i theta. Sometimes people are going to write this as log, which is the com complex logarithm, but I just use ln for simplicity's sake. Anyway, so using these definitions, let's go ahead and see if we can simplify this expression. So we have x in the at the base, which is the unknown. So I guess we could consider this like not a polynomial, but maybe an exponential equation, even though it's not the exponential function. It's a power function, maybe. Let's see how we can solve it. So one of the ideas that I thought about was replacing it with something. Well, let's get to work right away. So we have x to the power i equals e to the power negative pi over 2. And I'm going to go ahead and do this to use the definition right here, z to the w. So if you replace x, z with x and w with i, you're going to get e to the power i ln x, right? And that's going to be equal to e to the power negative pi over 2. After this, actually, the solution is fairly easy. All you have to do is forget about the e or just ln both sides and come up with i ln x equals negative pi over 2. And from here, we can basically solve for x. Now, a lot of times people are going to divide by i, but you can also multiply by i, or even better, multiply by negative i. Why? Because negative i squared is positive 1. i squared is negative 1, and negative i squared is positive 1. So this is positive 1, and we end up with ln x equals pi i over 2. Does that look familiar? If it does, let's proceed. The base is e, so from here x becomes e to the power pi i over 2, or I can write it as i times pi over 2. At this point, remember Euler's formula, e to the i theta equals cosine theta plus i sine theta. And let's use that e to the power i pi over 2 can basically be written as cosine of pi over 2 plus i sine theta pi over 2. The modulus is 1 in this case because there is nothing in front of e to the power i theta. Make sense? And what is cosine pi over 2? If you think about the unit circle, cosine pi over 2 is 0. This is where cosine is 0. So this is going to be 0. And sine pi over 2 is 1. Therefore, this is just going to be i. Therefore, x equals i is a solution to this equation, which is x to the i equals e to the power negative pi over 2. Well, you should have known that because i to the i, and I made a video about this, is equal to e to the power negative pi over 2. But the million dollar question is, is i the only solution, right? Let's go ahead and check it out, and then we'll talk about it. And let's see what the Wolfram Alpha says. Wolfram Alpha gives us, uh-oh, a different answer. i times e to the power 2 pi n. And let me tell you why that's the case. Because if you just raise x to the power i, you're basically going to be getting i times e to the power 2 pi n, then the whole thing to the power i, and then when you distribute this, i to the i and e to the power 2 pi n i, this is the critical part, this is equivalent to 1, therefore you're going to multiply e to the power negative pi over 2 by 1, which is the same thing. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.